Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Panelists, let me just go right down the line real fast. What percent of our atmosphere is CO2? Take your best guess. I, you don't have to be accurate. All down the line. Re repeat that question. What percent of our atmosphere is CO2, carbon dioxide? Wild guess. It's okay. I'll buy it. Five percent. Five? I'll just follow you then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a seven. That's my favorite number. I'll what? see there five and um, suggest that we know that transportation causes 49% of CO2. So that's why we're all working on okay. energy transition. All right. So what number do you think it is? Eh, five. Five? How about you? I didn't hear you, Mr. Oh, Dreher. Seven. Seven. Did you have one, uh, Mr. Boyd? So we got a five, seven. Uh, the price is right. Eight. I'm going to get the high end. All right. Well, I, I appreciate that, and I don't mean to I put you on ice. I ask a lot of people that because all we hear is climate change, climate change, CO2, CO2. I heard a couple of you on the panel saying you're looking to change your vehicles to electric, even though we don't have the electric grid. And me as a farmer, I wouldn't be real happy about running out and replacing $300,000, $500,000, million-dollar pieces of equipment because someone wants, someone wants it to be electric. The answer is 0.04%. Not 1%, not a half of a percent. It's 0.04%, and it's gone up from 0.03 over the last couple decades. This is what we're being all contorted into doing is this tiny change in CO2. If we, go, if we get below 0.02, plant life starts dying off. 